Consider a sphere I hope it is not an ink uh, It's a sphere and the radius of this sphere is A A is the radius of this sphere and this is one of the axes and we have a positive charge here which is Q and this charge is at a distance Y from the center of the sphere and we place another charge which is the image charge which is Q prime now you know the image charge should be put exactly at the same distance from the surface but we are putting it close just to make our geometry cleaner means not to make that much big sphere and it is also not necessary that we put it exactly at the same distance in such a small sphere means if we assume that the magnitude of Q prime is different than Q then it can be close to the surface right? Yes. so this is Q prime and from the center it is having distance Y prime and we are having this one this sphere is grounded like phi is equal to 0 further we are observing the situation at point x this distance is x and this is our observation point p clear which is making an angle of theta with the y axis so let's start from the potential equation means the very first thing will be we will have to write the potential equation is we have defined everything here the very first thing we will write the potential equation so what is the potential equation it is phi means the potential a point x this is point x what will be the potential here this will be equal to KQ means the magnitude of the charge X minus Y because our Q charge is at a distance Y and plus KQ prime and Q prime is placed at Y prime so this is the potential and what we want we want that phi of x eight x equal to a is equal to zero. This is our desired potential there. On the surface of the sphere, we want zero potential. So, in order to get our desired potential, what does it mean? How this one can be zero? How? The question is this. How? How the potential can be zero? If this one is equal to the negative of this one, then they will cancel. The potential will come out to be zero. So I will write that phi will be equal phi of x at x equal to a will be equal to 0 so this implies that kq over x minus y absolute is equal to minus kq prime by x minus y prime and I can write if I move means kk are cancelling if I move this q here then Q prime by Q will be equal to X minus Y prime by X minus Y absolute. So I can write that 
this implies q prime divided by q and this is equal to x minus y prime absolute divided by x minus y absolute with a minus sign. Right? I have just shuffled, it means I move q prime here and x minus y prime there. If I square both sides, then this will be removed and it will have square here and it will have square here. By squaring both sides, I will have this and now this one I can write is what this will be x dot x x dot x minus plus x so write this one first y y dot y prime means y prime dot y prime minus 2x dot y prime clear just like scalar product and here I will have x dot x plus y dot y minus 2x dot y clear so I can then write that what will be means this will become x square this will become y prime square x square y square what about x dot uh, sorry this one is x and this is y prime so what about x dot y what about x dot y it will become x y prime cos of theta right because you know the x and the y is having angle theta so it will become x dot y prime y prime is also on the same axis this is the distance from the center of the sphere of charge q prime so y prime and y are having the same angle theta with x so this will become this will become x y prime cos of theta and this will become x y cos of theta right so i can write my equation that but one thing we will have to put means we will have to put that at x equal to a x equal to a is our boundary so we will put this thing as well this implies that q prime by q whole square this one is equal to or why not to move this one with this means multiply this with this minus this equal to zero so i can write q this one a square plus y square minus 2a y cos of theta can i write like this minus a square plus y prime square minus 2ay prime cos of theta and is equal to z clear yes. what i did means to this one i multiplied the denominator and put x equal to a and then this will be made so minus and this for x equal to a so a square plus y prime square minus 2ay cos of theta is equal to 0 now I can uh, reshuffle all this because I know that a square is here a square is here then this is y and this is y prime but if I come here cos theta is here with this one and cos theta here with this one so I can do the reshuffling here and this reshuffling will give me 
that q prime over q whole square and this is minus 2ay plus 2ay prime and then square bracket and cos of the inverted theta plus q prime over q whole square and a square plus y square minus a square plus y prime squared is equal to zero. Right? Okay, look here. Okay, look here. This one q q prime is multiplied with the cos theta. And here q q prime is not multiplying with the cos theta. So what I wrote q q prime multiplied by minus 2ay and cos theta to this comma. Here this one is just plus 2ay prime cos theta. So I just wrote 2ay plus and then cos theta combined here. Clear? Over here, now q prime over q whole square is multiplied with a square plus y square. So I wrote this and then minus this one and a square plus y prime square. q prime over q is not multiplied with this one and equal to zero. Now, Now this thing is equal to zero. So how will you add two things and they are equal to zero? What does it mean? Both are equal to zero. So we will take this one that when this will be equal to zero, what will be the result? But what about this one? Here two terms are in multiplication. Cos theta will be zero only according to our geometry according to our geometry if the angle becomes 90 here if your x point is here then the angle between x and y will be equal to pi by 2 and cos will be equal to 0 for an angle smaller than this one cos theta should never be 0 so when cos theta is non-zero then it means this thing is equal to 0 because this whole term is equal to 0 but this one we are sure it is not equal to 0 then it means this one is equal to 0 so I can write that the coefficient of cos theta should be 0 and this will give me q prime over q whole square minus 2ay plus 2ay prime should be equal to 0 and this will give me that q prime over q whole square and when this will come here this will become minus 2ay prime so minus 2a will cancel with minus 2a right and i will get that this is equal to y prime over y clear this will is clear. Yes. Plus 2ay prime, when it will come here, it will become minus 2ay prime. Minus 2a minus 2a will cancel. And this y will go down here. So q prime over q will be equal to this one. And this will give me that q prime is equal to plus minus q and y prime over y square root y plus minus because this will be squared and if i don't write plus minus here then i will not come to know whether it is the minus square or it is the plus square so this is a way to write plus minus with the square when you square both sides again you will get this result 
if it is minus or if it is plus. So it's a double possibility means equation here two part here is one part so you can balance the thing with two roots. Okay. Now what about this one, this result? This is actually, this was unknown to us. This is the induced charge, which was unknown. This charge was known to us. So we found the unknown charge, the induced charge, the emit charge, in terms of the known charge. Now think of this thing. This y prime is positive, this y is positive. Because if one of them will become negative, square root, it will become imaginary. And we have assumed them as positive. So these two are positive. Now come here. About plus sign and minus sign. If the q prime, which is the image charge, is equal to plus q, then this is insignificant. This is not reasonable. Means to mathematics it is significant. You know always you find the roots of an equation. One root you call this is trivial. This is not important to you. While the other root you call this is significant. To mathematics both are significant. Because both are the roots of the equation. But one is insignificant according to our geometry. Right? Your geometry decide which one of them is significant to you and which one of them is trivial. So the plus here is trivial because this q should come out minus. This q is positive while this q should be minus. This is the image charge. So the plus is trivial here and the minus will survive. So this is equal to minus q. This plus is trivial. Trivial not to the mathematics, keep in mind. Trivial to the geometry. If q is positive. If q is positive, right? If our q is negative, then my geometry has changed. And then it will be minus will be trivial. Plus will be my required result. So mathematics will give you both the solution. You will put it, uh, you will just put it according to your geometry. So we are having uh, this is first and then the second term will also be equal to zero. If I make the second term okay. Now if our second part is equal to zero, then I can write that this one y prime y okay. this will be the second part so it will be okay. one thing means I know from here that q prime over q square is equal to y over y prime so I will put this value here for this one let me first write this one is q prime over q or let me erase this one like q prime over q multiplied with a square plus y square and minus a square plus y prime square is equal to zero. This implies putting for q prime by q square y prime over y. And here a square plus y square minus a square plus y prime square and this is equal to square. 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 Square